This is my uh, 1978 Sterling. Uh, it's a VW-based kit car. It was produced out of California between 1973 and 1978. Uh, between 77 and 78, the company opened up an Ohio um, facility. This one actually came out of Ohio's car number 37 off the line. Uh, the original company made about 750 uh, cars-ish. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many are still in existence, but I would probably guess about 200 or so still driving on the road. There is a uh, website that has a lot of the information and history and ownership of these cars. Um, it's sterlingkitcars.com. This car is actually being still produced. Uh, they just recently sold the company, uh, moved the company from Delaware or from uh, Pennsylvania to Delaware. And here, before too long, you'll be able to actually buy, you know, a full kit to be able to produce one of these cars again. This was actually built on a '71 standard Beetle chassis. It's got a stock 1600 engine in it with a progressive Weber carb. I'm pushing maybe a whopping 75 horsepower right now. Uh, I think temporarily I'm going to drop a uh, Roots uh, charger in it. It's an AMR 500 that Subaru makes. And it's just a bolt-on type setup. You don't have to do anything special to it. And with about 9 pounds of boost, it'll give me about 130, 125, 130 horse you know, out of it. It's just a simple little cheap bolt-on fix. All the parts are still available um, to the company. You can get glass, you can get the but it's a VW-based kit car, um, this one is. You can actually uh, buy all the drivetrain and chassis parts from any of your Volkswagen you know, online stores or local stores. Uh, the company itself still produces parts. Because it's a kit car, you can adapt other parts to it. Uh, they use parts from different vehicles as it is. Uh, the original company for the power top used like a Mustang convertible top pump motor. Um, the tail lights are Triumph Spitfire tail lights. The turn signals are off of like some Chevy truck from the 70s. And, uh, so you have parts are completely available. You can actually do just about anything with the car. Uh, through the uh, Sterling website, you can see a lot of other owners, and they've done some really cool custom stuff. Uh, power plants you can change as people put Porsches, you know, engines in them, Corvairs. One of the new things that everybody's putting in them is uh, Subaru WRX. You know, twin turbo engines, you know, put 400 pounds, uh, 400 horsepower with 1,700 pounds of curb weight. Just a phenomenal car. I think there's a the company with all the hands that they've changed. There was only about maybe a thousand produced under different names and different variations of the car. They have a, uh, a Sterling GT, which is basically the same. Basically the same thing without all the extra lines, uh, all the curves and stuff. It's a little bit smoother body, bigger cockpit, bigger engine compartment. Uh, they only produce maybe a hundred of those. Uh, there's a Sempria, which has uh, gold wing doors and it's produced with the same basic body lines. Uh, there's a startling version of this. They changed the fender wells. God awful looking car. They only sold about a hundred of them. The company ended up going out of business because of that and reselling to somebody else down the line. But you're not going to see a lot with Canopy Top. Very few cars out there.